Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction. Today we will look at one of the alternative ways of transporting people and cargo into space. In sci-fi books and in several movies we may occasionally encounter a space elevator. Could we build such a device and what it would look like? I will not analyze what material should be used, rather I want to focus on which solution would be realistic and the most suitable. First of all, we need to determine how tall the space elevator should be. Currently the primary goal of spaceflight is low Earth orbit, as it is the most accessible and relatively safe. However, this orbit is not suitable at all for a space elevator and its construction up to this height would be very difficult to build. We would have to build a tower at least 200 km high. Its entire weight would push against the foundations of the building, making it very unstable, dangling and easy to collapse. And such a big pressure would be present not only in the foundations of the building. Each unit of such a building would have to be able to support the weight of the rest of the tower above it. The more massive the construction, the heavier the whole building, and after all, less realistic to build. By the way, getting to the top of the tower at a height of 200 km makes almost no sense. There is already a vacuum at this height, but the gravity there would be almost the same as on the Earth's surface. To launch a satellite from this height would mean bringing the entire rocket to the tower, which would give the satellite an orbital speed. All objects in the low air orbit would fly around our tower at tremendous speed of almost 8 km per second, which is a speed several times higher than the speed of the bullet from the gun. But anyway, any major cargo would destabilize the entire structure, so there couldn't be even small station at the top. So what would be a significance of such a construction? Lookout, working outside the Earth's protective atmosphere. But nothing more, it won't help space travel in any way. If we want to use such an elevator for space flights, we have to lift it much higher. Up to the geostationary orbit, which is approximately 36,000 km above the Earth's surface. A tower built to this height would gain orbital speed at its apex due to the rotation of the Earth. But how to build an even higher elevator when at an altitude of 200 km it was already extremely difficult construction. This problem could be solved by not building the elevator like a tower from the bottom to the top, but lowering it from the top to the bottom like a rope. This design would therefore not have to solve the problem of high pressure caused by the weight, only the problem of high tension in the materials. The goal of this construction will be to ensure that the rope does not break, but the rope itself may look very different. The weight of an elevator car itself and the cargo it carries should be negligible compared to the weight of the whole rope. This solution demands a space station situated on the geostationary orbit. In order for such a space elevator to be stable to the Earth's surface, it could only be located exactly at the equator. However, even this solution would not be realistic yet. If you release a very long rope towards the Earth from a space station in orbit, this rope will begin to pull the space station to the Earth by its own weight. And that's something we really don't want to happen, otherwise the whole space elevator would fall to the Earth. The space elevator would therefore also have to contain a counterweight. Because if you release a very long rope from a space station in orbit in the opposite direction to the Earth, 
this rope will begin to pull the whole space station away from the Earth only by its own weight. That's why you cannot connect two distant space stations with a very long rope, because they would start to rotate. Our goal is to match the force that pulls the space elevator towards Earth with the force that pulls the counterweight from Earth. The only question that remains is how heavy and how far away from the station would have to be the counterweight. However, this is already quite complicated calculation. But if you can solve this equation, please leave a comment about the result. I would be very interested. But one thing is certain, the centrifugal acceleration of the counterweight is significantly weaker than the gravitational acceleration acting on the elevator. Therefore, the counterweight would probably have to be much heavier than the entire space elevator. However, the space elevator has one more really big problem. A collision with another body cannot be avoided. Spaceships, space stations and satellites with a functional engine can avoid any obstacle with early warning. But if a dead satellite or an old rocket stage is heading for the elevator, a collision would be inevitable and would cause the entire structure to collapse. So when you decide to build a space elevator in the future, think about whether this is the most suitable solution for space transport. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click a subscribe button if you want to see other amazing videos from the world of space fiction. And if you want to share with us your opinion, just leave a message in the section below.